Accord because I missed out on tickets for today's car show, which is on James May's doorstep, like the next closest thing in the area. You could walk there, is James May's pub. So at the end of this video, I'm sure we'll end up at the pub so I can show you what it's like, maybe try some of his gin. He's got three or four different varieties of that. But this meet should be for a variety of cars, maybe a few modified cars, a few supercars. We don't actually know, I've never been before, but last month looked very, very busy. So we're in the Accord because we're gonna park down the road out of the way and see what cars are coming up. The cafe is called The Stools and this is the lay-by here with the van that we're going to park up at and the cars in front they're just heading into the cafe. So we've got a bit of walking to do and um, there's a Civic arriving. We heard it in the distance, we knew what was coming. Here it is, look it looks olive green. Oh, it's boosted as well. Very decent. And now that we're further up the road, we've got another Honda. We've got the DC2 Integra. An import, that one. And next round on this beautiful frosty morning, we've got the Nissan GTR. And we are at the entrance now to the Stalls Cafe. We've got the GT86 and the Vantage. This one is an F1 edition, as you'll notice by the color and the plaque and the canards and the stripes and the spoiler and those very large wheels. A few more arrivals from the other entrance now. We've got the Cayman GT4, the Alfa Romeo 4C Spider. It was quite low to the ground. GR Yaris as well. Also notice, look, cows. We also saw this pulling in in the distance when we arrived, according to uh, the internet. It's a Sigma Cupid Fun Cabriolet. The Fun Cabriolet. So how much did this set you back, sir? And we've got a new convoy of cars coming in. A little Starlux GT Turbo. And a line up of Porsches, including the Boxer Spider RS with the roof down like a champion. Also, it seems there are trophies for the cleanest car, the best classic, the best modified, and the best modern car of the show. So, beyond the building that's been propped up by a collection of mushrooms, we have the rest of the cars that are here. Quite a lot of Porsches. The Boxer Spider RS is right front and center with the F1 edition. We've got a Mark IV Super next to an old Celica GT as well. So a bit of JDM as well, Ferrari California on the end. There is the 4C, got the motorsports drive on the box to an extra prelude. And here is our little boosted friend, very clean little Civic hatch, vents through the rear windows, no rear interior, very lightweight, very clean, remarkable. Some holes in the rear bumper and a droopy exhaust, a little armadillo on the rear as well. Another clue about its forced induction is the number plates, lag here. Got the 190E, another Cayman GT, Four and a bit of a lineup of German whips, a lot more Porsches. That's a matte green Cayman GT4. It's the factory colour with some satin or matte PPF over the top. And then in the corner we have an R32 GTR next to an EP3 Type R. But a few more arrivals up front. <laughs> Got the 488 was making a lot of downshifts on its way in. Revs from the McLaren behind. Everyone's very eager to see what's going on with these new arrivals. It is a great venue, they are starting to run out of space a little bit. Oh, here comes the, um, uh, the Se Se Segma Cupid Fun Cabriolet. It's road legal. It's got handlebars instead of a steering wheel as well. It's just a quad bike with a bit of a roof. Although it is a cabriolet, probably nabbed the last space. But perhaps due to the bitter cold temperature, cars are starting to leave already. You've got the Mark II Focus RS as a van gets in its way. It is nice to have a long straight road for accelerations as the cars depart. However, the Boxer Spider RS has done fewer than 500 miles, so he's still running it in. So it doesn't matter too much that the Peugeot got in the way. Around came in GT4. And next, the Mark IV Supra, automatic and naturally aspirated as well. It does seem as one person leaves, it encourages the rest to do so. people's amazement, the 
the Celica GT2000 is the next to depart now that his super friend is left next door. Starting the 600 LT. DTM edition, Audi A4. And the SLS Roadster roof up because it is still so freezing today. There goes the DC2. Away. A diesel for 
sound, just a lot of whoosh. I like the 250 short wheelbase style heritage livery on the Boxster. And finally, the little starlet. Sunday start off and as promised from the start of the video we're now going to head up the road that way even though we're walking this way to the car uh, to James May's pub which is the Royal Oak. Oh it's a long cold walk to the car. I also bought some bottles of cider kicking goat from inside the little cafe. So whilst we're only about a mile away from James's pub, James's house is two miles away from the pub, so we're close to the house as well. He's also got a house in London as well as over here. We won't go to his house, we're not gonna do that. We're just going to the pub, see if it's open, <laughs> and show you the pub. Right, we turn right, and then literally just up here is where James May's pub is. And just here on the left is the Royal Oak, which I think is closed. Or oh, evidence of car guys, there's a Maserati in the car park. So from in front of James May's pub, which unfortunately doesn't open for another hour and a half, that was pretty much that. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Only a short one of a few cars accelerating. Boosted Civic was probably the highlight of mine. Let me know what yours was down in the comments below. Obviously Adam Seafest is coming up fast. There's tickets and links in the description too. But for now, thanks for watching.